Good morning. Our verse this morning is from Hebrews 12, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by such, by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Now, this verse is super powerful. It's super powerful. It's talking about surrendering, right? We are to surrender what the weights off of our back, right? And focus on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. How many of us have ever done a marathon with weights on our back? Like a full, like 60 pound backpack, and we're just like, you know, we're doing it, and then we win. Like, that right there is rare, and I'm not sure, like, really anybody does that. Um, If you're in the military, you're going to be doing a lot of running with, like, you know, a heavy pack. But what God is saying here is, look, surrender those weights. But let's talk about those weights. What are those weights? Those weights are anything holding us down. Um, For some of us, it's like, you know, speaking mean to others, right? Having hatred in our hearts, be it jealousy, um, be it cheating, um, be it um, stealing, be it lying. All of those things are weights that hold us down in life, on this journey in life, on this marathon of life, which is our goal to reach the kingdom, amen? That being the case, we are to, you know, surrender, right, and look to Jesus, right? And it says he's the finisher of our faith. In other words, he's the one that makes our faith complete. So when we look toward Jesus, you know, We don't look to the side this way, that way. We stay straight on Jesus. He helps us stay on the straight and narrow path like we studied yesterday. And he helps us complete that that race and that journey. And so when we lay aside our self and die to self daily, guess what we can hear? At the end of that race, we'll be hearing Jesus say, well done, my good and faithful servant. For you've endured to the end and been forgiven of your sins. In other words, you've you've surrendered all the things that your, your sinful body wanted. And you look to me, well done. God bless.